right, what's going on everybody? This is going to be a brief tutorial, all right? So I have the hard drive back here that's running Linux. It's plugged in via a USB port to a SATA cable, which is only 12 bucks. And then this is the Windows hard drive that's up here, hardwired in as if it's in its own nice little housing that's not there at the moment. It's back there. So, but anyways, I booted this once already in Windows, and then now I'm back to the Linux state. And I'm going to show you guys how I did that using the same exact computer. <clears throat> so, I'm going to log in, and then... All right, so I'm going to log in and I'm going to reboot. All right. And on the reboot, I'm going to F12 it. Here it goes. It turned off. It's coming back on. I'm F12 in it. Now that we know how to do our boot menu settings from the last one, now we could actually boot between the two. So here's the other hard disk. It's going to pull up which two. So here's the, here is the USB, the one that's back here with the Windows or the Linux with the node on it. And then here's the boot with the uh, Windows. So you see Microsoft coming up. <clears throat> and uh, it'll totally just go back and forth between the two. Um, so this is still even a cheaper option to buy another hard drive or I'm sure I'm going to try this. I'm going to try to can make this hard drive because I don't really give a shit what happens with this hard drive. I'm going to try and make that hard drive the boot image and then have it open up onto the SD card. And then the SD card, I'm going to take that and then I'm going to put it back in Win32 Disk Imager and see if I could pull that back and then take a few more steps out of this for you guys instead of having to go in there. But that's going to be, I don't know if that's going to be anytime soon or not. I am, this is some time consuming stuff. This is all old shit and it, it moves slow. So as you can see, I got Windows operating. And then now I can simply restart. And then, then I could restart. And I could be in the Linux commands. So. I don't know if you got to keep hitting it, but I just keep hitting it. I just. Da, 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 until it comes up with what I want. So we were just in the Windows. Now we'll go back to Linux. And again, this is all done with one machine that has a 2 gigabyte RAM stick in it. So that is not enough. And the other one that I had from the other computer failed. I do not feel that that is enough. What the hell is this? Help command. Huh. Okay. Well, when in doubt, reboot. Again, there's no rocket science to this, to, to this shit. You're con probably confusing the shit out of the BIOS going back and forth like I am. So. But it should work. Although that cord needs a 3.0 to actually really operate correctly. The fact is, is it's running uh, the older connection, so. <clears throat> yeah, this is looking normal now. Yeah, there it goes. And just like that, we're back to Linux. So... For those of you that don't want to wipe out 
<clears throat> I want to use this as like a storage disc and don't mind leaving this thing running this could be another up another avenue I mean getting a SATA cable is only eight or twelve bucks and getting a hard drive I prefer getting a, a smaller one but it will work with these big ranchitos I mean it, it will boot on these big ones and you can get these a dime a dozen sometimes you know check out a computer supply store they might even give you one <clears throat> but uh that's how you go back and forth. Hopefully that will help for somebody.